Hello friends and welcome back to PFPR, Penguins Fan Playoff Reaction. Yes, I know it is not the playoffs, but I started these videos when it was the playoffs last season, so the name will continue to stick as it does not make sense to change it. And there is already a video that is fan reaction, and I don't want to copy that. Anyways, so, welcome to the first ever regular season, post-game, regular season PFPR video, which the Penguins start off with a bang, winning 6-4 to four over the Anaheim Ducks in their home opener in Console Energy Center. Mike Johnson airs off to a great start, only the 8th coach in Penguins history to win his home opener. And uh, let me tell you, it was an exciting game from start to finish. Um, the Penguins cannot kill a penalty, which has to be addressed. Uh, they went 3 for 6 in the power play, which is just a complete gong show. That is terrible. But uh, I liked a lot of things I saw. Um, they outshot the Ducks 21-8 to in the second period, I believe, which is ridiculous. Pascal Dupuis, super duper. He looked super duper in his return with a goal and three assists. He was a force all game long. He only played about 15 minutes. He played in a line with Sutter and Malkin. Um, Sutter had a nice shorthanded goal. And just Dupuis was flying out there. I, I eventually think that line's going to get split up because I don't really like Malkin on the right wing. Um, it doesn't suit him at all. And I don't... Um, Sutter playing in the second line doesn't make sense to me because then you have Sill and Adams on the fourth line and they're the same player and they're both terrible. Um, I think that line will get split up. But uh, it looked good last night. Um, Sutter got a shorthanded goal. Again, set up by Dupuis. Also set up by Oli Mata. He had three points. Career high for him. He also did not play a preseason game. Coming off a major shoulder injury. That just showed you that preseason games are overrated. Malkin did not play a preseason game. He got an assist. He should flash as though he admitted after the game that he felt a little out of shape and he was not happy with his performance. So I would expect a much, much stronger performance tonight against the Toronto Maple Leafs at the Air Canada Centre in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which is my hometown. And I wish I could be at the game, but I'm not there. And Malkin always lights up the leaf, so I think he will do just fine. I thought that overall it was a strong game. I was impressed. I do think they need to work on special teams. The power play did not look great, even though Crosby did score a power play goal. It was a beautiful goal, by the way. They scored a shorthanded goal, which is good, but they were still minus one on the special teams as they gave up three um, power play goals. Um, so they're going to have to show up with penalty kills, especially against a team like Toronto, which has a lot of offensive firepower and a pretty good power play. They're going to really have to try to stop Phil Kessel on the power play um, and JVR and Joffrey Lupo because those three are pretty dynamic in terms of the power play. I also really liked uh, the defense. I thought Chris Letang had a fantastic game. Him and Ole Mata, as I said, Ole Mata just looked phenomenal. He did not look like a 19-year-old. And if he continues this this season, his star is only going to rise. He has so much potential. He has not even reached it. I cannot wait to see how good he ends up being 5, 10 years from now. It's absolutely fantastic. Chris Letang looked like the Chris Letang that we know and love. He was absolutely great. He was great in the power play. Him and Erhoff were solid. That top four defense with Erhoff, Letang, Mata, and Martin. Ugh. It's just, it's beautiful. It is so good. That top four defense is probably as good as any defense in the league. Definitely 100% better than Toronto's. Um, it's good mobile defense. They can keep the puck out of the net. They can score some goals. Um, I don't understand why Airhoff is not playing on the power play, though. He has a great job from the point. And, and, and like Niskanen did last year, he uses it. He's basically like Gonchar. Um... He has a bit of a harder shot than Niskanen, too. I don't understand why you would not use him on the power play. Used him in the power play in preseason. I don't like four forwards in the power play. I'm sorry, Malkin on the point does not work. It's too risky. I liked it with Dan, and when it worked, it worked really well. But um, a lot of the times, it did not work, and Malkin should be in the high slot. The only reason why he was down there is because Neil was there. Now Neil's gone. Put Malkin in that position. Put Erhoff with the tang in the power play. And then you put Mata and Martin instead of Erhoff and Martin. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, you can take Kunas off that top unit. He doesn't need to be there. Like, him and Hornquist both in front, they're not doing the same thing, just, like, on the same line. Like, it's redundant. Move Kunas off, put him on the second unit, take Dupuy or Sutter off the second unit, because you don't need them on the power play. But, overall, I thought the game was pretty good. 
Uh, they gave up 3 nothing lead, which I did not like. Um, typical Penguins. Uh, they're going to have to shore that up defensively, be a little more tight. But they did come back in the game. I thought it was good how they didn't panic. I really liked that a lot. Uh, I, I liked how when Chris Latang got hit, Steve Downey and Blake Como, two new guys, come came to his aid. That was something that was missing last year. I mean, I'm not like, I don't think it was that big of a deal. I'm not like too worried about it. But uh, it is nice to see that. Uh, you know, it's not like those guys are gooning it up or anything. Like, they can actually play hockey, which is nice. Uh, I think it will be interesting playing uh, playing the Leafs tonight. Crosby always lights it up in Toronto. Um, it's going to be a good uh, good French-Canadian goaltending matchup. I did not think that Fleury was his best last game, and Jonathan Bernie was not his best game in the Leafs' home opener, so I expect him to be really, really good tonight. And I think Fleury... Um, should be pretty good. He typically does not let in that many, typically lets in a lot of goals against Toronto. The game's usually pretty high scoring. Anyways, I'm sorry that this is so late. I've just been really busy. I look forward to tonight. Hawk Night in Canada. 30 teams all in action tonight. It'll be fantastic. The Penguins have called up Scott Harrington. Apparently he's not playing, which is really unfortunate. I think it's more for team bonding than anything. I would have really liked to see him play in his hometown in Toronto. But, well, Kingston. But whatever. Anyways, I'll probably play next game. That's all for now. Please click like if you like this video. Subscribe if you really like it. Tell all your friends. Share with everyone. I will see you after the next game. And hopefully the Penguins are 2-0. And they beat those Maple Leafs from Toronto.